Hi, my lovelies, and welcome to this five days uh, free uh, workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to teach you how to actually heal your hormones naturally. And in this five days, you are going to know the things you are doing and the things that are contributing to your hormonal imbalance. But don't feel bad about it because sometimes we do things without even knowing it and it's very silly to actually beat yourself up uh, for doing things you don't know what was harmful. So don't feel bad. This workshop uh, has to, uh, only one aim, which is to show you uh, how to do things better because uh, we can't change things if we are not aware of them. Okay, so this is just awareness. It's not slapping you, telling you you're a bad, bad, bad person because I used to do those uh, mistakes by myself, even very recently when I developed an eczema on my uh, hands because doing it. So you are not alone. We all do that and just we have to come together and spread the knowledge because the unfortunately doctor are not going to tell us. So the first thing that is messing up with your hormones massively massively is living with a constant fight with your natural uh, rhythms and what are the natural rhythms not many girls knows and i don't know why this is not a uh, common knowledge why we're not teaching this in school why uh, uh, mothers are not teaching this uh, to their daughters i've got no idea i discovered that i have infradian rhythm in my uh, 20s i think i was 25 when i discovered that so if you never heard about infradian rhythm you are not alone <laughs> you are not alone sister so the men have only circadian rhythm and i'm going to going to explain to you what are those rhythms and what is the difference between them okay so circa is mean circle and dia means day so this is our 24 hours um rhythm and we have it and also men have it but we women also have infradian rhythm infra is mean beyond so beyond this 24 hours uh, rhythm we women have our uh, menstrual cycle rhythm and unfortunately this word is created for men and i'm going to explain to you why and it's all gonna make sense i promise to you okay so men are producing testosterone 24 7 in their testicles but estrogen and progesterone are released on different time of the cycle that's why it's so important to live in peace with our cycle and never go against it okay very very important so what is the woman female cycle we've got menstrual phase when obviously we are on our period we've got follicular phase uh, just after our period then we've got ovulatory phase where we are ovulating and luteal phase and those who signed up uh, for my biohacking endometriosis online course you know already all about it because i go deep in how to sink and how to eat in every uh, part of the uh, face and which kind of exercise to do so you know all about it but for those girls who don't know uh, I'm going to explain a little bit uh, further just now. Okay, so the infradian rhythm creates 25% change in our brain chemistry. And uh, it's responsible for so many things. So many things. For example, metabolism speeds up and down depending on which uh, part of the cycle we are. So in our ovulatory phase we are gonna have a very speedy metabolism that's mean if you want to do intermittent fasting or uh, if you want to do the keto this is the best uh, time to do it and it's okay with your hormones but your metabolism will slow down when you're close to your period so if you're going on the diet at this specific moment you're gonna mess up your hormones you're really gonna mess up your hormones because this is the time 
of the month when your body will store the fat just in case eventual pregnancy. This is so important. Men can do, for example, keto all the time. There is no difference for men, but we, we are more sensitive, okay? Cortisol level also goes up and down depending on which uh, part of the cycle you are. So intensive workout spikes cortisol level, disturbing your hormones. So if you are uh, going through uh, not only fasting, but you are also working out very, very hard just before your period or, or during your period, you are actually disturbing your hormones. Uh, before period and on the period, this is the time when we have to take things slow. Seriously, sister. <laughs> Diets on the different part of the cycle disturb your hormones. This is exactly what I mentioned just now. So if you are stuck in the diet uh, all uh, month around, it's very likely that's messing up with your hormones. So let's talk about our hormones and the sleep because it's all connected with uh, inflation rhythm as well. If you in your deep sleep levels, this is the part where the healing happens. So healing happens when you are sleeping and it's also uh, the hormones are being produced uh, on your sleep. So if your deep sleep levels are short, it will affect your hormones. Uh, sometimes we are sleeping eight hours, but we are waking up tired. Why is that? Because even though you're sleeping long and your deep sleep levels are very short, then you're going to wake up tired and you're going to wake up fatigue. Okay. Men produce hormones in the testicle 24 seven, like I mentioned, but female hormones peak production happens in different parts of the cycle and deep sleep is the key. So we have to be very, very mindful. Okay. A very important uh, thing, my lovelies, blue light disturb deep sleep. And that means it's also disturbed the hormones, blue light from uh, your phone. I don't know why it's not showing. Ah, it's showing now. So if you are scrolling before you're going to sleep, it takes you very long time to actually enter in the deep sleep phase. That means if you are repeating this over and over again, you will eventually disturb your hormones. <laughs> and this is it. So let's recap very quickly. Okay. First, thing to do to heal your hormones is to learn about your cycles your infra and your rhythms, infradian and circadian rhythm, okay? So you have to live, eat, exercise, and work accordingly to which uh, part of the, which phase of the cycle you are at this specific moment. Because if you go against it, you are going against your nature and you are disturbing your hormones. So for the hormones to work properly, you have to respect your natural rhythms. And it makes so much sense. Like I mentioned, we are living in the world that is um, made living in the men's rhythm and men's got only a circadian rhythm they follow. So we, if you are waking up at five in the morning, that's actually very, very bad as well, because the woman needs from eight till 10 hours of sleep. A woman needs more sleep than a man with at least five to six hours of the deep sleep. So if you are waking at the crack of dawn at five in the morning, six in the morning, every single day, it's very likely you're disturbing your hormones. Keeping this all in mind, this is the things that we can change and we can fix a little bit. So remember, no dieting and no hard, um, exercise just before your period okay you can do that after your period and on, on the ovulation you have to really really take care of your sleep so eliminate all the scrolling all the charges all the phones everything that disturbs your deep sleep and there are actually applications that that can measure the level of the deep sleep so from today Please be very mindful and take care of uh, your sleep hygiene. I'm going to see you tomorrow when I'm going to give you another tips how to regulate your hormones naturally. Naturally. Thank you so much for watching and I see you soon. Bye.